Molly's charmed fans on reality favorites like Southern Charm and Summer House for years. Now Craig Conover is opening up about his passion for sewing and so much more in his new book, Pillow Talk. Hi, Craig. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, listen, you start this book by saying, how did I get here? So how does it feel to be here right now promoting this book? Oh, After a, all this time. Yeah, it's a great feeling. Um, you know, someone told me once, tomorrow is the next day of the rest of your life. And it really helped me get through some dark times where I had thought I had messed up so bad that I screwed myself. Yeah. And No coming back. Right. And yeah. so a lot of this book is showing you the silly places that I found myself in on my own, you know, my own fault. Yeah. And how I kind of worked through them to get to a place like I am today. Yeah. Did you always want to write a book? Was that a goal? I always wanted to write a cookbook, actually. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. And um, as I was talking about that, this project was brought to me, and I was humbled by it because I didn't think I had enough, you know, stories to tell yeah. at my age yet, and it uh, it ended up working out. Yeah. Well, people have been watching you uh, on Southern Charm for years now. What do you hope that people learn about you through this book <clears throat> that maybe they didn't learn from that show? So Southern Charm's great, obviously. Love it to death. Um, a lot to owe to it, but it's only yeah. four months a year that we're filming. Yeah. And so I wanted to tell people what happens the other eight months of the year. Right. So there's some crazy stories about my time in Haiti, doing hurricane rescue up in North Carolina. There's just fill in the blank stories that I think people enjoy. Yeah. Well, you haven't been shy in the past about being honest and sharing some, yeah. I would say, darker times. You talk about your struggles with Adderall in this book. Was it hard for you to put that on paper? Because I think it feels a little bit different and maybe more vulnerable to write about it and share that. This whole process has been one big therapy session, yeah, essentially. Yeah, can be healthy. Yeah, and it was good. And so many people have reached out after I kind of admitted it. It was season six reunion, I think, for our show. A lot of people, you know, in their 30s or even older have been like, I struggle with that. It affects my relationship with my husband or my wife, my kids, yeah. and I just never thought to talk about it. So yeah. hopefully my story can help others. And when they read it, it's a little different than coming from a doctor or a therapist telling yeah. you there's a problem. But maybe they can, you know, draw some parallels between my struggles and stories and overcoming it with their own. Always better to speak your mind and speak <laughs> your peace and share those things. Yeah, because you don't know who you're helping in the process. But um, you also write about your passion for for sewing and the business that you launched for pillows. I just want to know, for those who aren't aware, where did your passion for pillows come from? So I was fortunate enough to still have home ec in middle school. So half yeah, the year. I did too. It was yes, great. I loved it. That's yep. where I first learned to sew. Yep. And yeah. so I learned, um, learned how to cook half the year and learned how to sew the other half. And so when I was going through my breakup with my ex-girlfriend, Naomi, I had to leave my garden behind in my workshop and I still had my sewing machine. Yeah. Um, you know, and I, I tried making some clothing items, but that was really difficult at the time and I was like I need to know how to make something and I remembered the pillows we made in home at class and I just started to run with it yeah that's so great you know um, in terms of home decor this is you know we mentioned it in the break but people do talk about this all the time like how many pillows is too many pillows because I think most men are the ones that say there's way too many pillows on that couch right. or that bed or whatever how many is too many I uh, obviously now I'm in a position where yeah. I don't think never <laughs> never never, never is too many um, but even uh, even at Paige's house she has so many pillows everywhere and I'm like, well, you just get the bed ready for bed. But no, yeah. you, you can to take them all off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we obviously uh, encourage as many pillows as your heart desires. But it's fun. We, we kind of give you different shapes and color patterns yeah. and styles to play around with. And I it think you can really bring some, some memories from childhood or places you visited into your room with yeah. just a single pillow. You can change seasonally with pillows, too. Yeah. But we just want to talk about Summer House real quick. Of course. Um, you know, fans loved seeing your romance with Paige. You mentioned Paige. How's it going now? And how is it to kind of meet someone? and be friends with someone on a reality show and then transition into a real life situation. It's good. It's definitely been a non-traditional, you know, start to a relationship. But I, I kind of am excited to share that positivity that you can get to a place where you're really happy yeah. by going a route that maybe doesn't make sense to a lot of other people. Yeah. So, and yeah. it's fun to be able to work with her on TV and kind of share the same world together. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad that it's working out well Thank for you. you and for Paige. Uh, Craig's book, Pillow Talk, comes out on March. 29th and you can catch him on Summer House Mondays at 9 p.m. on Bravo. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah.